Hey guys, Brandon here, Mitten Made Properties. We have your Oakland County, March 2022 real estate market update. So let's jump right in. I always preface with three things, or excuse me, two things. We have three years of data because the trend is your friend. You want to see the trend here. One year of data wouldn't make any sense. And then we have a month in arrears because the data is signed, sealed, delivered, aggregated, and we've got it here for you. So let's jump right into this. Days on market is DOM. Anytime you see that, that's all it means. 60 days on market two years ago. So can you believe that? Two months on market, 41 last year, and then a month this year. Remarkable stuff. Active, this is a one day data sample. So the time the data was taken, how many listings were on the, whole, on the market at that time? 3,708 two years ago, 2118 last year. Again, that was the Cervasa sickness, and then 1872 this year. So again, we can see we are hemorrhaging homes here in Oakland County, less and less homes on the market right now, which is really remarkable. They're just flying off the shelves. Um, and as we get down here, we'll see that you know there's really just not a, a new abundance of homes coming to the market. It's being refilled, but at lower numbers. Months of inventory, this is MOI. This is at the rate homes are selling. How long would it take to sell every last home if no new homes hit the market? And just for context, one to three months is a seller's market, four to six is a balanced market, and then seven plus is a buyer's market, meaning there's a ton of inventory and prices have come down. 2.31, two years ago, 1.27, so again, you know, five weeks of inventory last year, and then 1.23, the same thing, just over four weeks of inventory, four and a half, five weeks of inventory. So it would take four and a half weeks. If no new homes came to the market, four and a half weeks, and all the homes would be gone in Oakland County. Remarkable stuff. And this is a quick ratio to see what kind of market we're in. New, this is, how many listings came on the market the entire month? 2,385 two years ago, 2,505 last year, and then 2,404 this year. Again, seeing a decrease here, we, uh, we have these levels that are not elevating, unfortunately, so we would like to see these at yeah, 3,000, 3,500, more and more homes flooding the market here so we can you know, get the glut of homes and just get that log jam out of the way, and that way buyers uh, can, and can get some homes at better prices here because uh, it really does hamstring the market because even the sellers, even though you might be making potentially paper gains, you're not, you don't have it until you close. You don't have those gains, and you're trying to go find another house. It's very hard. So we need a little bit more balanced market so everyone benefits. Price per square foot, 133 two years ago, 153 last year, and 177 this year. Again, you can see the increase going up, uh, up into the right, I should say. Seeing the equity, the appreciation. This is a, a countywide number though. If you take this number and you multiply it by your square footage, it'll give you approximate valuation in your home. However, because it's a countywide number, you have to have someone on our team, an appraiser, some professional come and give you an actual valuation on your home. So just be cognizant of that. It's more to see the trend of the county. Sold, this is the number of people actually sitting at a closing table in a room like this with at a big conference table, closing your title company with the other, you know, the other party and your agents. 1,602 two years ago, 1,669 last year, and then 1,524 this year. So again, we're seeing this decrease a little bit too. It's just because so many homes are just coming in and, and coming off so quickly, but we have less homes hitting the market. So we're gonna keep monitoring this for the last five, six, seven years. We've been doing this and monitoring this every single month. We're gonna keep doing this so hey, you have the information you need to make the best decisions for you and your family. Oakland County, March 2022. Next month, in about three weeks, we'll have April 2022 for you guys. You can keep on tap and uh, keep on top of this. This is, is really unprecedented stuff we're going through. So uh, stay tuned. We appreciate your time. It's the most important ask we have. So thank you for sharing with us and we'll see you on the next one.